This is 9 News at 5. WUSA 9 News, first in the nation's capital in high definition. A huge study on multivitamins is making headlines today, and the news is not good if you invest a lot in these supplements. This eight-year study tracked more than 160,000 postmenopausal women, almost half saying they take vitamins regularly. In the end, vitamins seem to make no real difference in cancer and heart disease rates, echoing similar disappointing results in studies on men. Joining me now is Dr. Charles Mouton, Howard University Hospital's Chair of Family and Community Medicine. Doctor, thanks for being here. Here. Thank you. All right, so you took part in this. Were you surprised that the vitamins didn't make a bigger dent in, in disease prevention? Well, no, I wasn't because I, I knew that from other studies, particularly cord studies that have shown that vitamins really don't add a whole lot to your normal diet. So this study was a little bit different in that we followed women along in a cohort and showed that mm -hmm. conclusively that multivitamins really don't add much to your normal diet. Okay, having said that, are we wasting our money when we walk into the drugstore and buy them? Well, I think in terms of money, your money is probably better spent in spending it on fruit and vegetables and eating raw foods that have these vitamins in them normally. Why is it? I mean, because we have had studies that show these nutrients in fruits and vegetables, a healthy diet makes a difference. Why don't pills and the real stuff work the same way? Well, we don't really exactly know, but we think it may be the fact that when they're in the natural foods that we eat and we take them out to put them into a pill, we probably lose something along the way. What about this idea of still taking one multivitamin as kind of an insurance policy, you know, day to day if you don't eat so well? Do you still think that's a good idea or do we not even need to do that? Well, we probably don't need to do it, but when I tell my patients, if it makes you feel better to take it, go ahead and take it. Said like a true physician who wants to make his patients happy as well. Thank you for your insights on this very large study and for being with us, doctor. Thank you. And you can find more of our Living Well Health reports online at WUSA9.com right on the homepage. Leslie, back to you.